Good morning. Proverbs 12, verses 15 through 17 says, Fools think their own way is right, but the wise listen to others. A fool is quick-tempered, but a wise person stays calm when insulted. An honest witness tells the truth. A false witness tells lies. You know, one of the themes of the book of Proverbs is the contrast between the wise person and the fool. It's a recurring thought that is woven into all that the Holy Spirit writes through Solomon. In these three verses, we have an example of this comparison. The fool is stubborn, quick-tempered, and untruthful. The wise person listens to others, stays calm when insulted, and tells the truth. Now, of course, this isn't an exhaustive list. There are many more things that characterize the fool and the wise person, but this is a quick glimpse at some things that differentiate the, tw the two. Well, here's the thing, though. Some days, I can honestly say that I would fall into the wise category. Other days, I would, without a doubt, be on the fool side. These character, <clears throat> character traits that distinguish the fool and the wise person, they're unchanging. They are statements that distinguish between the two. The characteristics don't change. You can't be a person who is truthful and be wise one day and truthful the next day and be foolish. If you're truthful, then you're wise. Likewise, you can't be untruthful and be a wise person. The character traits stay the same. But I don't. The traits are unchanging, but I'm not. I can make wise decisions one moment and foolish ones the next. Some days I would fall into the category of being wise and other days I could easily be called a fool, which leads me to the question, today, will I choose to be a wise person or will I choose to be a fool? Pray with me. Lord, help me to make wise choices, to listen to others, to be truthful, to not be easily provoked. Lord, there are many more character traits, characteristics that you list in Proverbs, but these are three that stand out today. So help me to choose wisely in regard to these three. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, I hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you again tomorrow.